they, they, they coming up in here. Okay. I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. Everything night. What up? Kev is here. He's just going to use the restroom. He has to go sit down and pee. Is that how this sounds? Maybe it's just an echo because it's me. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, and I'm going to tell y'all now, if you can, go watch the movie with Jamie Foxx and um, Michael B. Jordan. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but I know that we're both going to watch it this weekend and we're going to talk about it. I, I doubt we'll do spoilers, but we might. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, just mercy, just mercy. Yes, like I said, Kevin is here. He'll be here in about two minutes. He just went to the bathroom real quick. We got some good stuff to talk about. Is there anything in particular you guys want to talk about? We got some pretty cool topics. I put all the topics together. Um, <clears throat> what up, what up? <laughs> um, so you know so <clears throat> Kev runs in the room I punch him in his face boom he start crying and he just like oh man though you should have punched me in my face I'm like well I did oh hey Kev what you doing man I didn't even know you were there oh, <laughs> it never gets up <laughs> <laughs> um, Harry and Meghan in the royal family I don't know if neither one of us know enough do you know anything about that Okay. Harry and Meghan in the royal family. It's something going on. I've been something is awry. I was asking, was there anything in addition, like any special stuff they want to talk about? They was, they um. You started at three fifty and you down to three ten, and I inspired you. Praise God. That's what I like to hear. I'm proud of you. That's how you do that. Woo! And I mean that. that yes. Y'all see my cool shirt? Yeah. Got the young Will on there. You do know that. You do know. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Did we see the video of the girls making a bowl of cereal in another girl's mouth? Ugh. You seen that? Mm, Ugh. That's, that's gross. That just sounds nasty. <clears throat> Somebody said I'm looking slender. Well, thank you. I had, a, I had a treacherous uh, December that I've been trying to fight back from. So. Nice, uh, <laughs> you ever just be so bad in a certain amount of time, you just don't get on the scale? Like, I don't even want to face the harsh realities of what that number's going to say. <sighs> Does it happen to me? Yes. Yes, fool. <laughs> I had a braces to the double watch situation. Yes. Because this is the Fitbit. This is for the, the steps. This is for the fresh. You understand that? This is for life. This is for ice. You understand that? This is for cardiovascular. This is... Oh, I'm not going to rhyme with that. All right, man. Pull up in here, man. Oh, we're going to talk about my puppies, my babies, which Kevin never lights up when I talk to him about it, which makes me think he has the soul of a demon. <laughs> Are you just going to not light up when somebody tells you puppies? It's like chocolate chip cookies. Baby chocolate breath. Chip baby breath. <laughs> puppies are really like babies, bro. I mean, I know it's They're like... They're my puppy. Shut up. I know it's like not a way to see that, but... Because they're animals. Who's watching them right now? Huh? Tony. But we put them well, in a house train and everything, huh? <laughs> Shut up. No, we have a. Um... No, you go to house train them still. Huh? You still got a house train them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, but we put them in a... The, um... And like a little, we like so blocked them off. making jokes that I don't, you don't even understand me clearly. You just assume I made a joke. I thought that you did. I was just like, oh, man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because they can't even go outside and pee yet. Because they have to get their last set of shots. What does going outside and pee mean? Where they can't even go outside because once they have to get all of their shots to be able to go outside because other dogs that pee on the grass and stuff, they'll get sick if they don't have certain shots. They can oh. Die. Yeah. But they're the coolest. How old are they? Um... 12 weeks and 8 weeks. I had said 8 weeks and 4 weeks accidentally on um, Instagram. 
But I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna get on here. All right. Okay. You ready? You got your uh, what's my over? I can't see their comments on uh, my phone. So I'm gonna laugh out. Huh? Mm -mm. You already watched the watch them on here? Mm-hmm. Were they were they turned sideways? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put your laptop in there, or we can share. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, somebody said I look great. Thank you. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Uh, you, ready, you can get this hoodie at bloodofanation.com. Bloodofanation.com. Uh, ready? You need, you, need, you need a few? Okay. Kev is eating something that tastes like a foot. <laughs> what is it? That's one of those bars that. Bar, yeah. Don't see, man. I, I, I gave up. Especially with what you told me in the chat today. What you just told me in the chat today makes me not. We're going to talk about that too. Because mm -hmm. it makes me not want I don't even know what to do anymore. Everything is wrong. What's real? <laughs> Jeez. Somebody said you look mad eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like chalk. This ain't bad, but it ain't good. Oh, we can tell by the look on your face. Anybody looking like this when they're eating. <laughs> no, they ain't enjoying it. Like eating gruel. <laughs> Hard to <and> gruel. <laughs> I hate how this thing covers up my shirt. Well, don't you see where well. But it's in the middle of us. There you go like that. You know who you're not? Somebody's mad Will that- Will Swift. Shut up. I'm mad that Doughboy coming down and he's passed me up. Hey man, don't get mad. Let's just get into it together. You feel. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is not my mac and cheese face. That's the <laughs> dang show. I'm All right. Are right, you ready? Yes. I had a busy day, but I've been looking forward to this. Oh, e e e feel e me. All right. Hello and welcome to another bonus episode of Righteous. That's not how we start. Come on. That's As I was saying, I was yeah, like, I don't even do this. It's Doughboy. It's like not me. What up? This is your boy, Doughboy. And me, Kevin Puebrits. And this is another bonus episode only for the Patreons. I have started off to the left. Righteous and wretched and people right. are hating on yeah. Kevin and we just don't right. like it and I suggest right. that we pull up and talk him out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to save the name. Get into you know, You're going to not say the name? I'm going to spare the name. Okay. I'm going to spare the and name. You don't want me to say the name either. I don't want you to say okay. the name either, okay? But can I give my testimony? We can give your testimony. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Great story. All right. So one of my fans, mm -hmm. followers, supporters, whatever, mm -hmm. DMs me on Instagram. Y'all know I don't check my DMs that much. Yeah. But I was checking it in. Yeah, the yeah, Lord yeah. said, I can't believe what I chest mm -hmm. And I don't know why the Lord said it, because he knows that. Oh, oh, yeah, Phil. <laughs> so I checked my Instagram. So maybe that wasn't the Lord at all. Telling you to it go in the Lord. It was the Lord telling me, that, Kev, you know what you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So the guy DM me like, Kev, man, this other comedian was talking trash about you, but I had your back. And I said, what is, what you doing? Okay. What you talking? What you talking, what you talking now? <laughs> and uh, the comedian posted and deleted the following message. And we say I keep him nameless because we're classy. So I ain't going to say his name. So but. Comedian posted this on Instagram. Kev on stage's solo stand-up tour is a valid reason to quit. If you said you quit comedy because people buy his tickets, I wouldn't blame you. Okay? There's more. There's more? Yeah. Okay. So the guy um, said, the guy who sent it to me, showed me his comment. And he said... Um, oh, I, I didn't even know this. Yeah, I said it all. Oh, okay, sure. you did. He said, um, hold on, let me find it. Make sure I do it in order. Okay, so he said, racial slur. This is the guy defending me. If you're going to come after someone on social media, put a effing stamp on it and tag him. Don't be on that sneak dissing S. Man up, pimp. Because <laughs> he didn't tag me. Right. He didn't mention my name in the thing. Right. So I didn't know. Right. right? Okay. And the dude said, uh, how am I sneak dissing? If you saw it, this is a comedian, idiot. And the guy said, genius, it's sneak dissing because you didn't have the heart to tag the person you're talking about. <laughs> was you trying to reach me for any particular reason? <laughs> or was you hating and was scared? Uh, or were you trying to reach him for any particular reason? Or was you hating and scared to confront the person? T emoji, mm. question mark. 
And then he said, uh, I will entertain you. What? There are only 100 comments. Comments, no comments. We all know each other, and I don't have to tag niggas because this isn't beef. I just think he whack. It hurt my soul to, Oof. to utter those. I didn't say that, but I don't know that you put that in the chat. I did, though. Okay. You just I, saw I that remember. part, and you was, yeah, I was ready you, to go. You was, you was, was all yeah, red. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I get to have a negative opinion about a person without confronting them. I don't have to dislike you and tell you. You are not right. Okay? And let me double check. That's it. Now, here's my thoughts before. Because I said this to my group chat. And it was good to know that my boys... And I was ready to go fight. Oh. That oh. day. So, Doughboy knows this comedian. Mm -hmm. I personally... I know you're wondering. Mm -hmm. I personally do not know this comedian. Mm -hmm. I know... I don't know him personally. I, I have seen his stand-up. I know him personally. And he's funny. Very funny. Very... I mean, I, even though he said oh, what yeah. he said... You can't lie on him and say... Can't lie on him. funny. He is funny. Co comics, we keep it a thou. Yeah. Yeah. A comic yeah. code. Yeah. You go up to each other, what, what you think about your boy? Man. You, Most you, you, so you not, don't got to say nothing. You're going to be yeah. like... Hey. Most, <laughs> most comments will not bad talk a comic. Right. You usually get a lot of, he all right, right. he cool, he's a beast. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Meh. Right. You know, this is, you know. Yeah. He, he gets on stage and opens his mouth. <laughs> you know, right. he technically he can do the art is at comedy right. shows. Right. He's right. not doing the comedy right. show. Right. right? So, um, I, you know, I don't know if y'all, y'all been following me for any amount of time. You notice I never talk about haters. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. And I honestly don't have a lot of haters. Outside of the girl in the van okay. uh, who rebuked me, um, <laughs> I don't have a lot of overt haters. Right. I don't do a lot of searching my name either. Right. You know, a lot you, don't, of you don't seek out the hate. I don't seek out the hate. It's enough, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, but I've never met this dude, and I'm pretty certain, pretty certain, he doesn't even follow me, right. but I'm pretty certain he's never seen me perform. Right? Because yeah. you know when I be in LA, a lot of You don't even really be, yeah, yeah, you don't really, you don't hit enough stages in LA for somebody just. Absolutely. Now let me set. pause. I meant to tell you this when mm -hmm. I saw you. No. I'm doing a lot of, sh I'm throwing up a lot of shows in between now and the tour uh -huh. in LA. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I, I did Tahir's room and I listened. So when we were on the Righteous and Ratchet tour, when you took your shirt off, mm -hmm. not only did you get the crowd going, you gave me the best lead in. But, right. right? <laughs> first, you gave me two, three minutes of you see this thing? I mean, it was perfect, right? right. So I go to Tahir's right. on Wednesday. I didn't have the Doughboy. You were out there like, man, Doughboy. Oh, oh. <laughs> so the first joke, the, the audience is completely cold. Okay. You so had, these aren't your fans. So they're not my fans. Mm. They're not expecting me to come. True test. And I don't have the doughboy. Mm. Uh, just the, just the, just the, yeah, just the, the soft I mean, open. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 dude, you, yeah, you, exactly. you would have the, no matter how your set went. By the time you got to that joke, mm. they're all in. Right, right. And by the time you got to end of that joke, mm. they were like, ah, right? right, right. Not the case. For me, okay. so I'm like that first joke hit, but uh, wow. like really? there was yeah, there okay. was people there who knew me, but it wasn't yeah. my show, right? Gotcha. Which is how I want to work out. Mm -hmm. Like I want to work out against people or, or with people who are not. It's the honest way to, to do it. I mean, right? Yeah. And you the only reason play, I'm you can't play all home games, right? right. So the only reason I'm throwing the shows is because it, there's not enough time between now and the tour because I had to take a vacation from my family and stuff. I couldn't work out. You right. know what I'm saying? So moving forward. Or I'm, work out, but you know, I get <laughs> you. You the ground. Are you uh, back? I'm, I'm proud of you. Moving forward. We'll talk about that too. Okay. Moving forward. Put me on some of them shows, man. I'm your friend. That's why I brought, brought uh, it up. Um, so, but moving forward, I push my, I would do some small markets first. Because okay. that's the other thing. I was like, I ain't trying to do a whole bunch of small markets. And I realized the benefit of the small markets last year mm -hmm. is there was less pressure. Right. It's just less pressure in Knoxville. Mm -hmm. You find in Knoxville, it's like, eh. <laughs> or, or in Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York, cool. Knoxville, Syracuse. It's not going to ruin your career. If exactly. You a bad night. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, one of the things that, that's good about my career. I have a lot of fans. One thing that makes it tough is mm -hmm. people expect you at your best every time. Oh, yeah. And with stand up, you don't know. Mm -hmm. And then I forgot a piece of my joke. That night oh, because that's I wasn't the worst. In, it was a kind of a scramble show. I, I I got into it late. To hear was like I can throw you up, but usually when I'm like in stand up mode, yeah, like yeah. we're on a tour, we yeah. we looking at our joke. We be in the green room like prep okay. mode. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that. Was I this your remember. first time performing in the New Year? Yep. Was your, when was the last first time you performed? Rice, Rice and Ratchet. Really? Yes. I didn't even think about that. And you're I going out know, doing a new forty five in a month. Cold. Two months. Oh, you talking? No, no, no. My first show three weeks. In three weeks? Mm, two weeks. The pressure is on. <laughs> but uh, so the the you know I'm not worried because uh, I just got to get the first thirty. Uh, the last fifteen for me is is good. Uh, so anyway, 
Oh, yeah. So back to the I guy. I said all that because the dude has never seen me do stand up. Right. And the reason I said that is because a lot of comics, when I be in LA, they're like, oh, Kevin on stage on there. Let me see. Let me pull up. You was there. Yeah. You've been there plenty of times. With that one guy. Yeah. Right. And most of the times, even the guy, when we told the story about the, the old OG comedian the who pulled up to Atlanta, mm -hmm. he had to be like, and I sat right next to him, like, all right. He was trying to Yeah, because I was going, you know, I'm watching people because, you know, right. I come from a street background, but I'm just watching them and then I'm just like, he, he was just trying to hold it and he was just like, <laughs> I'm going to make it come out. Yeah, you're funny. Yeah. I'm like, if you stay the whole 45, I'm going to get you. You can't laugh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, my thing was this. There's a lot of thoughts I had. Okay. And then I'll let you tell your part. Mm. This part of this. Gotcha, gotcha. First thought is this. Mm -hmm. You can think I'm whack. You are entitled to your own opinion. To your opinion. So we was in the group chat. Let, actually, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna let you jump in your story okay. because I sent this to my <laughs> my wife first, and then I I needed my boys' opinion. So I sent this to my boys in the group chat, and Doughboy, who don't even always respond first in the group chat. I don't know what you be doing in your life, <laughs> but he be either there or not there. But he saw that, and he just why did it trigger you? So? Because I had a run in with said comedian he back in the day, too. and what I'm gonna you tell talking? you now. This is the bonus, so we can. I'm not stuck. I'm say his name, but I can talk a little oh, more freely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so back in the day, because um, I knew dude, and he was always like, he's a very negative person. He, oh, he's one of those comedians that's just. Hold not on, let me pause you. Y'all okay. would never know this comedian. No, you would never know them. He's re not related to Wild and Out. No. Doughboy has been doing comedy for 10, 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he is right. Comics yeah. know comics, but you guys would never know him. Right, and we're not going to do him. Famous and like we're not going to do him a favor by promoting him. So and we'll get to that. Yeah. So, okay. So, dude, he was always negative. This is back when I was heavy into stand up. Like I was out every and day. Heavy. Shut up, dude. Was coming. <laughs> so, this is back like, you know, back in the day. So, uh, like 2010, 2011. He was just always one of those c comedians where it's like nothing's ever clever or smart enough for him. Just like this guy. Mm -hmm. I had done some shows with him. He would just always be coming and giving you unasked for advice. Like, right. but whatever. Like, as long as you ain't bothering me, whatever. Right. So, then one day, he was on Twitter hating on another comedian. You know what I'm saying? He was like, man, this dude's trash and he shouldn't have won that. I should have won that. Ah, ah, ah. And this is all on Twitter. And so like this by this time, I had, and I'm not even a confrontational person. I have not been in a fight since I was 19. Mm -hmm. Literally. So I'm not even a person who solves things with violence. So when he, when he was saying that, I just, for some reason, just irked me. I was just like, Hey, bro, like, why don't you just shut up? You're always being negative. Like, don't nobody want to hear that all the time. Like, right. you can keep that being to yourself. And he tried to turn up on me. And he was just like, what? Doughboy? Like, question mark? Yeah, everybody know you ain't no comedian. You ain't funny. You shut over there. You shut up. I said, okay. I said, cool. I said, bruh, when I see you, I'm going to smack the ish out you. But what I want you to do is I want you to write down exactly what you just tweeted. I want you to fold it up and put it in your wallet. So when I see you and I smack the ish out of you, you can refer to that letter in your pocket and understand why that happened to you. When I tell you, within five minutes, he called my phone. Hey, dumb, bro, 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 man, it's just Twitter, bro. That ain't nothing like, bro, I don't, I don't even want no problems with you like that, bro. I, 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 I. That was it. Mr. Boy, but, but, listen, but, I don't this want This is just, man, no, this is just for laughs. I'm just trying to. my smoke alarm is going on. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no beef. Let me I'm tell vegan. you what. Let me pause bro. you, though. That is the best threat I have ever heard in my life. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. <laughs> Write down how you feel on a piece of paper. Fold it neatly. Mm -hmm. Place it in your wallet. When I see you, I'm going to slap you. When you come to, it's going to take a while. Absolutely. Open up your wallet and read it just so you just can so you be reminded. Like, oh, this is why he's a man of his word. He's a man of his word. And the reason. That's smart. <laughs> The so, fact that that triggered an immediate... Oh, because oh, you know what? Let me... Hey, hold on, hold on real quick. Mr. Boy? Mm -mm. Uh, I must have... I, I don't want... I don't want to remember anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just keep you on speaker so other people can be a witness. Could you not? I don't have pen and paper on me, so when you slap me, I might not even remember what I said. I, I don't even know my name. Who are you? Who am I call it? I, <laughs> so anyway, no one told me that story years before this conversation. I was like... That that needs to go on a movie. Yeah, by the way. yeah. So anyway, that, so, so yeah. So let me get my two cents on it. My thing with with how I carry you, because this is my relationship with you. I'm very protective of you for this reason. You're such a nice guy. Like you 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 never disrespect people. You never bully people. No. You're always looking to give people opportunities. 
and you're just nice. Like, bro, you don't even cuss. So it's just like, when it comes to people coming for you unwarranted, yeah. I'm not here for that, bro. We righteous and ratchet. You are the righteous part of this part, bro. I'm, I'm the ghetto brother that can fight. Like, yeah. bro, I don't care about oh, none of that. Yeah. So I was ready to go because my thing is this. When you popping out your mouth like that, this is the thing that I look at it as. It's not just you being a jerk and saying your own little opinion. No, when you're saying this on a public platform, no matter how minuscule yours is, you're saying that to a public platform of people to put a negative connotation about someone you don't even know. Right. So this is so somebody can just be like, I don't even know who this dude is. Oh, yeah, but Harry said he with me. I ain't messing with that dude. Now this might be, be be somebody who will now never become a fan. You trying to feed your kids. You trying yeah, to buy a house in LA. And so I'm just not here for that like the the whole like just turn the other cheek every time like nah bro yeah like let me turn around and, and and hit you back in your face so <laughs> but i do respect what you be saying and like the way that you approach it but i was ready for all of the festivities so i and still am <laughs> so i put that in the group chat and tony uh and tony's even tony's a nicer mad. guy yeah way then did more you? turned down than me uh, he was like i'm ready to take it to <laughs> <laughs> but Tony's with all of it though. Like I've seen Tony in situations where yeah, yeah. you like look at him. You like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, oh Tony will go with the skimmy back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just double check real quick something, and we'll continue. No, I didn't say anybody named Hammy or Harry. No, I don't even so like that sound like that. So, uh, so Tony's like Kev. Let me say something. Yeah, because <laughs> Tony like man, that dude is funny, but. Man, he was like, man, we should have jumped him when we had the chance. <laughs> he said, man, his negative energy, like, I'm sick of it. He was like, I want to make a video right now. He wants to make a video. That was Tony with the with the Emberly yeah. followers. And Tony don't be on yeah, that. He's not. Ever, like that. He ever. don't be on that like that. But he was like, nah, man, because, you know, Tony, you know, we cool, man. Right. We been on tour together. We spent yeah. a lot of time together. But more Tony's like, bro, like, Tony's a fan of mine as, mm -hmm. as a person, but also as a stand-up comedian. Uh, so... He was like, he was like, Kev, come on, man. And for like a couple of days. <laughs> come on, man. I saw him on Twitter. He yeah. had a couple of tweets about it. He didn't mention the dude's name. But he was like, man, sometimes your friend's got integrity. is trash. <laughs> but I respect you. Hold on. Let me find Tony's tweet because I was laughing about it. <clears throat> Hopefully he don't be tweeting that too much. Too much. Hold on. Tony said, it's frustrating when your friends have integrity and won't let you ride on people that dis disrespect them. But I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, nah, man, I want to say something. And here's what I thought. Like, well, give us your it, thoughts, it, 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 it pissed me TF off. Okay. Right? Then I had to classify. Oh, you just turned on Siri. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to classify it as the 5%, right? Mm -hmm. I always talk about this with my audience. The 95, we are the 95. 95% of people support you. 5% of people hate you. Trolls, whatever. Right. Right, and some of the five percent are vocal. Right? Yes, and here's what I told Doughboy, because Doughboy, when I ran into him that day, he was like, "No, oh. man, I know, I, I know, you said no in the group chat. Now we're sitting. <laughs> right, right, right. Let me Come run on, this. Man. Let me run this past you. Yeah. Let's say yes." <laughs> and I said, "Here's why I don't want you to, because I thought I listen. My wife was like, Kev, just refocus it into your your stand up. Don't even let it get to you, right? Because I know how competitive you are." And I was like, "You know what? Here's here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna say nothing. Reason number one." If I call you up, because that was my first thing, mm -hmm. right? Because you know how I can petty I can be. Brian Olivares, mm -hmm. right? With the master class. <clears throat> right. But if I bring attention to it, now I'm 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 making people who are unaware of you or this. So you've stuff. just invited him into your house and, and introduced him to all your friends and family. And all my followers now know. Of course they're gonna defend me, <clears throat> right? right? They're gonna jump and blah blah blah. But you know, I've given you more attention energy. than you deserve. And guess what? Mm -hmm. You're struggling now. Oh yeah, because you don't have fans and mm -hmm. followers. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing is someone who you don't think is funny, which is that fine. you don't even know. But also, if you don't think I'm, my my brand of your comedy, uh, my brand of comedy is yours. That's fine, fine right? Because uh, comedy is subjective, mm -hmm. right? But what I've learned is most comics are bitter and mm. angry. Most oh. comics feel like more they've than been that. Past more. Yes. Then not, and that's why I don't hang with them. That's why I hang with Tone, mm -hmm. to hear Doe, because most of them, especially the older they get, they oh, feel bitter. It just, it's... I've been passed up. 
I'm funnier than this guy. They, that guy got a special. This guy got a show. This woman is she only got a special because she's a woman. She mm -hmm. only got that show because I mean it's just like it's a cesspool of negativity. Yes. No, everybody in comedy is I would have made it to the NBA if I didn't blow out my knee. Exactly. If it's, my coach wasn't hating on me. It's always somewhat somebody else the reason. Always, I can always tell you that. I'd be like, people always do that. They would rather blame successful people for why they're not successful than, than just getting up. And going to do the work <clears throat> to Absolutely. be successful. It's easy just to be like, oh, okay, man. And here's the thing about comedy, too. <laughs> Being funny is merely a part of the equation. It might be it's, the smallest part. It is the smallest part. <laughs> the irony. Comedy is clubs really don't care if you're funny, mm -hmm. right? They care if your name on the marquee mm -hmm. attracts people to buy their tickets and their drinks. And their two drinks, mm -hmm. or their two items, or mm -hmm. two, whatever. Right. Not whether it doesn't matter. Their good night isn't right. I had a blast. Or this dude had an amazing set. No, what's their the good bottom night line? Is the bar tab. Mm -hmm. The bottom line. The door split mm -hmm. and the bar tab. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do to you, sir redacted. <laughs> You're going to have to watch me. Mm have more and more success yes. while you flounder and fail. Because it's obviously bothering you. It's it's clearly. And guess what? <laughs> I'm not even going to give you the attention of a post mm. or a tag. Mm. That wound is just going to sit there. It's just going to fester. It's just going to be and like a paper cut. my special gets announced, <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. And when the movie and oh, God, and oh, another tour. Because you're just getting started. Oh, if you're, you're mad at so the, here's the thing, if you're mad at two tours, you're on the third now. Yeah, so he was like, <laughs> he was so, uh, so I talked to Tahir about it. He knew uh, too. Right. And Tahir was, he was messing with me too. Mm. I'll show you the chat. Right. He was like, um. How many chats you got, man? It was just me oh, talking to Tahir. Uh, ain't no chat without you. Yeah, Come man. On, man. Come on, I want to be in there, man. Good stuff to say. So to hear was like, he knew we'd been on tour for the last three years. He asked about it. That's when the thing I that I don't him, understand. That's the thing I don't understand. Like, if you know I'm cool with somebody, I don't know why you would speak out against that person publicly. Like, I'm not going to say something to you. So I do understand oh, that's what, Tahir said. what he's saying because it's like, that's almost like no, double Tahir disrespect. said, next time I see him, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like, nah, bro. He's like, no. Yeah. And, he, and he's about me, that, yeah. And we're not going to just act like that and right. happen. So he was, so apparently it's okay how I go on tour with Tony and Tahir because they're respected comedians, right? With, to this dude. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going solo, and I'm not even going solo. Right. I'm going with Tahir, right? right? But, doesn't matter. But in his, in his stupid mind, in his stupid, he mind, has these different calibrations of what he can market. And you know what? Though I just man. taught myself this: one, prepare for more of this. Mm -hmm. Right? When Kevin Hart was small, mm -hmm. um, what was his first one? Seriously funny? No, it first uh, grown one was little grown man. little man. When G Kevin Hart had grown little man, he was beloved by all, mm -hmm. all people, all comments. Mm -hmm. Right? Seriously funny. Ah, man, you know, it ain't as funny as that. The more specials he released and the more success he got, mm -hmm. the more Hate. comics were... Y'all would not believe... Oh, it's, it's abysmal. It's, it's how the way comics people just, feel about Kevin. It's bad. It is... It's like, enough! Yeah, it's just like... What is all this stress going to do for you? And that's the thing that I hate about it the, the most, too, is just like, it's hard enough to make it in this thing without people being negative with, you know what I mean? So it's just like, but but this is one thing that I've adapted in my life, like, you know, so I, I do respect you for, for ignoring it because, you know, right off the rip, of course, the emotion is going to be like, man, but like, it's like I've always said, like, you know, how I look at life, like, you know, the, 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 in your life, if your life was a garden, yep. the, the the plants that you don't water in your garden are going to die. Yep. So just don't, man, it's just going to be gone, man. So yeah. don't pay attention to it. It just is what it is. He's another person that's obviously upset with himself, Absolutely. Not doesn't even know you enough to know. So just sit there with your 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 unhappiness, Mr. Mr. Man. And, and you just do that. <laughs> Mr. Man. Yeah, just do that. Like, ain't nobody giving you no attention. Ain't nobody giving you no air. Because that's the thing that a lot of times we bring life to these situations. And that's what I wasn't going to do. Yeah. It's like, and how is that even fair? Just think about that. That's how I used to bait people into stuff. Like, people with bigger names and following me. Like, really? Me, I call them. <laughs> you remember that, that epic battle that I got into back in the day? Such and such. When I was rapping. You know. When I was rapping against the other comedians. I was rapping against a bunch of other comedians. I, at the time, it was Tony Baker, all the, but the, the, the uh, Arana, all yeah. the people. But my strategy was, I'm gonna call you out. You got the bigger following. If you entertain me, I'm winning. That's the same thing he's doing to you. And but with me, it made more sense because I like winning against like four or five different people. They all responded, so I'm like, oh yeah. But it was all friendly ah, competition. Yeah, yeah. But if you respond to him, like that's gonna make his day. Then he's gonna have, like you said, a bunch of new eyeballs on him. And so that's. 
You're right. Don't step into the booby trap. I didn't even think about it as a. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, here's the thing that kind of like trip tripped me out. It's like he don't follow me on social media, mm-hmm. but he saw that. It was, that, that, it was that, just like, and that should just tell you what. So what is? Hold on. Let's have one more thing. Uh, so there's many. He things. wanted to quit comedy. That's just you try. Oh, if you want to quit comedy, I understand. He saw that and was like, I, I just want to quit this guy. Like yeah, it just it just it's eating him alive. But just what think about I that. Have to but do. think about the power of that though. He that mad about you and don't even follow you. So he just hearing that just in the streets ringing. <laughs> Stop talking about him. Talking about me. I'm funny. I don't know. You see this you're... genius setup I wrote. Shut up. I almost said his name just now. <laughs> I almost said it. <laughs> I, I, I I I can't imagine. But that's gonna happen more. That Kevin Hart. It's just the beginning. Everybody knows. Just him. the beginning. Yeah. They see his special just to say they didn't like it. Oh, absolutely. But guess what? Mm-hmm. I believe the check clear. But what would you do? Now, now, just be honest. Just, just ask. Uh, oh, we're amongst family. Uh, what if you bump into him? What if, you, what if you're on the same show as Listen, him and I'm, you just bump into him? I don't have no What if he said, hey, man, Harry. Oh. Jesus. Jesus, I'm sorry. Hey, man, such and such. You know that was nice. Hey, such and such. Can I, can I get to know you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know that was honest for saying. So such and such, like, and then if he said that to you and introduced himself, what would you do? Would you shake the hand? You know what? I'm gonna tell you who I'm who I'm going to follow. Who's <laughs> whose path I'm going to follow uh, from now on? Who? Tyler Perry. What's that? Spike Lee. Mm. Angry, 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 angry. Tyler Perry never, never mentions it. Never responds. You can scream it. They can write articles about you. Scream it from the rooftops. To anyone who will listen. Scream into the... Because here's the thing. This is what comics don't understand. They think if comics don't buy tickets, you're not funny. You should not have success. Here's what they don't understand. Comics don't buy tickets. Comics don't (laughs) buy tickets. When comics come to shows, they are always letting free. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's like an unspoken rule. You can't sit down. Mm -hmm. But you can hang out in the hang green out, room, chill, be listen to the in the back room with the comics. Like, yeah, when I first went, all you got to do is say you're a comic, and they don't even. There's no there's valuable no code, way to check. Right? It's just an <laughs> unwritten comedy right. rule, mm-hmm. right? But you guys, people who are on Patreon, you guys who are excited, bro. There's 130 tickets, 150 tickets sold to the Brea show in LA, and it's way out. That there. is out there. I got an offer today to do a show for uh, the TDJ. This is just family. Don't share this. Uh, T.D. Jakes is putting on, right? T.D. Jakes presents something. Mm-hmm. Or he's doing some tour dates between April and May. And we turned it down. We were like, ah, money wasn't... And the fact, my, the, turn down T.D.? Turn down T.D. The, my AJ and my brother were both like, money's not enough. Now, mind you, the money's enough. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I saw hey. like, So, Melissa side text because I got a group chat with Melissa and Jay. Uh, and they kind of like what? run my business mm-hmm. for me, right? So, <laughs> so my brother say... So, both, so my agent emailed, he said the money's not enough, but I don't see that till mm-hmm. I get out of this meeting. Mm-hmm. My brother always screenshots and tells me what he thinks. Mm-hmm. So I screenshot the email, and he's like, money ain't enough. Mm-hmm. Right? And so I said, the money, but the I, money I, I is absolutely enough. enough. <laughs> that ain't enough. It's, it's enough. I don't want to take money. Because <laughs> right, right. I didn't have to headline. I only had to do 20 minutes. Right. And it was... It was enough. What? So Melissa texted me five minutes later. The money ain't enough. The <laughs> girl. So what? So what? Is it just a new attitude going into twenty twenty? Like no, no. Well, and for, the other thing about this TV date, Jake's show is I have a show that night. Oh, okay. And I would have had to cancel that, and that show's already sold fifty tickets. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And it's 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 in March. Right. Well, you know, black people, we don't buy tickets to the day of. Yeah, we, uh, we don't know. What's fact, going my on. agent said that he said the urban rooms don't the almost the bulk of the tickets 80 percent or so in the last two weeks. Or, I'm sorry, uh, yes, and like 60% of that is the last week, right? So to have 50 <laughs> sold in a place that seats 200. That fast. That's it. He's, my age, I'm like, bro, we can be second show. And for me, I, I I like to headline my own shows, right? Okay, because I work for it. People come to see me, like, you know, if you want my, get 100% of it. If that you want time. my personal opinion, then maybe you I know what I'll say. I, I, yeah. I value your opinion right. a lot. On a lot of I hear what you're saying and all those good things. I'd have took to the show with Jakes. No, That's no, no. But, but, but let me but hear me but out. Let me tell you though. Let me tell you. But hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you all the information. Oh, okay. It, the, the show with them is less money than I can make alone. I get That's it. That's one, mm-hmm. and it's I'm lower on the order. So I, and I would also the, the, I had to cancel my current show. To people who already bought tickets for oh, me. Okay. Gotcha. 
So if you're gonna do that, the money got to be crazy. It, gotta, it has to make sense. You can't take the loss. Because now you, if you live, you, you first of all, you can't even see me. I, that city would not get a show then. Gotcha. So now you can say you're okay. Right. No, because I was just saying I think that's such a great look with Jake's. Like he's he's heavy in the game. Like he's yeah. a big name, and I just feel like even if you, even if let's just say you made less money doing that show than you would have on your own. Me personally, I would look at that like, okay, I'm gonna take less money on this show. But I'm gonna take less money on this show on that, on that guy stage and share it with his. Don't platform. disagree. Don't so disagree. That's what I would do personally. Don't but disagree. I don't, I don't. I don't overly disagree with what you're saying. Yeah, like, I just okay. when you just when you got to the point where people are coming out just to see you, mm -hmm. I, I I I'm very careful to take. You don't want to. You don't. Yeah. You don't want to turn your nose that. up at that. You you just yes. starting in that. Right, because right. now you've taken the people who already put their money down for you, mm -hmm. and now they're like, well, hey, man, quit. Right, yeah. Now you don't do this. like Because it takes so long. To and sometimes be you do that. Like, we did that for Essence. Right. We we, we yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Because that was a huge opportunity. A, a great platform. But we came back to that city right. and did it. So I don't think there's any wrong thing. But I listen, man, because my thing is that those people in St. Louis, 10 years from now, mm -hmm. I come back to St. Louis, they might still come. Right. Or ten years from now, they can say, you know, he canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? What and you got it, and you got to be building your thing. So it has to be that. So, but I would exactly. just say, if nothing else, it's a great problem to have. Great problem. It's a great. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. You know what me and Tony were talking about this because I texted him on the side mm -hmm. or on his Instagram because he's talking about man. I'm all Tony was saying this. I'm all clear vision and positive vibes. In but he is too, man. And Shout like, out to Tony Baker. He says in the, in the chat the other yeah. day because he's not. Tony's not a bad guy with his energy, but, but he's, he's just very. No nonsense, and and that's yeah. his approach to everything. And like we would bump heads a couple times, but even when I said something about like working out with no shirt on or whatever, and it, he just hopped in the group chat like, "Hey, though, it's all good." Like it was no yeah. about my taxes. Sorry, Shayna. Shayna brought up a good point. Kev can't afford to have us all roll up on Cuz, because then he will say that Kev sent his fan goons out. That is true. And that's whoops. Huh? That is another reason why I don't yeah. want to do it because I y'all yeah. be going. Yeah, they have been to go, and I don't. I don't want to even give you that attention. <laughs> right, that's right. all he has. He's a social media comedian. He got his little fans in my mentions. I don't want you because the fact that you deleted it tells me something. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he ain't at you, you didn't at me, Mark. Even if you didn't, if you didn't <laughs> tag me, I wouldn't have seen it. Even if you did at me, because right. I don't follow you. But uh, I think it was a good lesson for me to learn mm -hmm. that. This will happen more. Mm -hmm. It's always been people. This in the is world. all preparation for the game. All preparation for the game. Mm -hmm. People in the world have always felt this way. People Absolutely. who don't like me. Remember, I first started ADD. They hated me. Mm -hmm. He's oh, corny. People he's see, a yeah. square. He don't even cuss. Mm -hmm. He. I mean, they hated me. Now I'm. I'm one of the. You know, I'm one of the squad. Yeah. But um, it's one thing when they're not in your profession. It does sting a little more when it's someone in your profession. But at the same time. Jealousy is a is an angry oh. emotion. Mm -hmm. Having someone who you don't think is talented doing something that you think you should be doing or getting opportunity that you think you should be getting, mm -hmm. it hurts. But see, that's the and thing. I'm and gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick that knife in it. Oh else. yeah, you got it. And you, and you got, but a lot of comedians never let go of that. Like they just be bitter. Like even like with a Cat Williams. Like Cat Williams oh, was a multi millionaire man. making so much money. And then when they put a camera in his face, he got talking bad about Tiffany Haddish. Have you Haddish. seen Heat? Heat. With Robert De Niro yeah. and uh, Pacino? Of course. So, remember in Heat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this is maybe I'm going to take this to my as approach to life. Mm -hmm. Robert De Niro had got away with the crime. Mm -hmm. He had the girl. But he that other dude that he didn't get rid of mm -hmm. had gotten away. He That dude, he was just like, his girl like, bro, let it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just let it go. It's not worth it. And he's literally going to the airport. If you don't go to the airport, and I mean, we got the passport, we got the money, you got the girl. You Everything the, you ever wanted. And he just, you got to let it go. And he was just like, I can't. He turns off the freeway, See? loses the girl, and dies See? in 30 minutes. And that's what I need to focus on. Like, mm -hmm. no negative energy to Come fans, on. to people. Because guess what? Your approach, your feelings... That literally affects nothing in my life. Let me tell you something. Up. I wish I would have never seen it. I wouldn't even have noticed it. No, there, and there, there's, a, there's a fun, two, two, two different things. One, you said this before, because remember, this this is not the first time this happened. There was another situation with another fellow, remember, and I was hearing things, and I would just, you know, when I would hear things, he would say, I'll call you and be like, hey, such and such. And then we had a point, you was like, yo, man, I love you, man. You my bro. Don't tell me nothing else, dude, talking about it. I don't yes. even want to hear it, bro. And I, and I know you got my back. You know who it was. I'll tell you, I forgot. You know who it was. But you know what I'm saying? So and that's that's you know, that's in that regard. 
Yes. Okay. And so then, and that one. And so then, um, secondly, I had something happen to me recently that Ooh. I want to share with you. Oh, yeah. On the internet. Because, bro, like, you know, even, like, over the last couple months, like, with my increased role, responsibility, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I take what I do very seriously. Like, I see that. And even when I mess up and stuff, like, I, like, I try to correct it quick. Yeah, but it yeah, is something yeah. very much that it's not just me being talent. It's mm -hmm. me being a producer, me mm -hmm. coming up with topics, trying to, you know, different yeah. things like that. And so the other day, somebody, you know, I'm always comment, searching, you know, oh, just seeing you whatever. Oh, you be up in there. You know. Yeah, and that, um, but some somebody... um. And it was on the last video that we posted, and she was just like, Doughboy is just so annoying. Cap hates it. You can see it's all over his face. Um, I wish he would just replace him. And I went to respond. Actually, I, I did respond for a second. I just said something like, if you don't like it, like Kev has a million other pieces of content you can watch. Right. You don't have to watch this one, but I just kind of just like, but then like after I sent it, I deleted it. And she tried to like respond and go back forth. But this is what I noticed. At that moment, it was just like, I was so angry, and it was just like, though. You got to so stop just a this. person? It was just a regular person. Just a regular person that I had responded to. And it didn't get all too testy or whatever, but I was responding. And then, like, I kind of, like, I'll be, like, talking to God a lot. I'll be praying. I, I see like, the God in public. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm talking to God. And I'm just like, man, da, da, da. You know, and it's just like, God was just basically just telling me, like, this is all you ever respond to. It just seems like this is all you want. Maybe the person like, on Patreon said yes, that. Yes, it's just like, why don't you try to, why don't, look at all these comments of these people saying great, wonderful things about you. You know what I told myself? And, what was that? If I, I see angry, uh -huh. if I see angry, uh -huh. I respond to something positive instead. I, I just went and just started responding to positivity. Even people on um, on on Patreon, somebody said something really really nice to me, and um, nice. very very nice. Uh -oh. Yes, and so I just started responding, and it just made me feel better. Yes. Not for nothing else. It's just positive energy. Just don't that other stuff. I don't even want to give it no life. I don't. It's whatever, so... And that's how I'm yeah. approaching it. Yeah. Matter of fact, what I'll do, because I feel like it takes more positive energy to counteract negative. It does. The more negative I feel about something, I, if I see one negative comment, I need to respond to five positive. positive people or delete it. There's exactly. also a lot of good pleasure in uh, just, just delete deleting people. Like, shut up. You don't even get to say you, what you think you can say. Especially when people type a lot. Bruh, oh, shut up. They just... They do the swipe. But I'm <laughs> but this is the thing though. Speaking of and we'll go on to our other topics of now. energy. Speaking of energy, I had a very very big shift in my life. Oh yeah! I became a father again. Oh god! But not to children. That's later down the line for me. Um, but I got Take two puppies, two. man. What is your? You're so happy. About I have puppies. don't. Bro, what do you think it is? I always wanted a pet when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Could never have one. I had two pets. I had a dog named Baby. We had it for like three and the months. Baby named dog. And the dog left, and it was just gone. What you mean the dog three left? Three months. It, I don't even know what happened. I just came home one day. He wasn't there. My parents were just like, man, shut up. I was like, all right. And then we had a bird named Ginger, a white and blue parakeet. My mom got mad because we in case. She let the bird fly out. A cat killed it. So I always. Hey, Paji. Yeah. Do you want to write some dad jokes for Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? Uh huh. Okay. Bad yes. boys. Bad boys theme. Come on. Yes. So, um, so no, so I get them. So, so Tony was gone, right? So Tony was, Tony wasn't there. So I, I, it was, it was the day that we shot for all deaf. So I was like super tired and I was just like, I had to come home and then it was like a whole thing. So I get home and so like right around six o'clock lady comes, she brings him, but Tony's gone. And so I'm there with them by myself because Kiara has gone too. So I'm there with them both for like three hours and they're just these little Babies, bro. Like one's named Milo and King, and one name's King. And like your stories were fire. You bro, ain't posted stories in a minute. They're just your dogs babies. coming. You can get me dummies. You can get me dummies. They're just man, and like and like Milo was like he's a little one, and so like when he sat there, he was just like super like shaking. He was like scared. Oh, and you held him, and then he yeah. was like, and he oh, just it's okay. He just they're like babies, bro. Like I know it's hard to believe that because they're animals, but I'm in love with these dogs. Like they calmed me down. I'm in love with the Fido. So, I'm just I'm I, I can't wait till Kiara comes home. Kiara comes home tomorrow, mm -hmm. and um. Are you going to pick her up? Yes, she's flying by herself for the first time. Well, not for the first time, but she's flying for herself for the first time. Not even unaccompanied minor. She's fourteen now. She's just walking she's through just, the airport yeah. on her own volition. It's a forty-five minute flight. We're like, That's you know, a big deal. It is, but what if she buys a soda? <laughs> <laughs> so she's wait, super, her, fourteen. You can fly alone. on Southwest. It's so oh, weird too because Delta is fifteen. And it's a three hundred dollar difference, like you could, because you gotta do the one fifty each way. Oh, for just, the unaccompanied. Oh, yeah. So I hate it. I don't. Dang. Yeah, I like it. But and you don't even have to pick her up at the gate. 
No, I, I'm. A, I get. They let you on to go pick her up at the gate though, because she's she's still a kid, so I can show her boarding pass like my kids. Oh, so okay, okay. Yeah. So well, um, what do you forget about her? She gonna be by herself. Right? <laughs> and I had two sodas. <laughs> I don't know why that's the thing. Like, nobody's around. I eat soda. That's funny about my diet. I was like, listen, that around when I was in Japan, I was like, I'm drinking a soda. I was like, like it ain't you, her. You need to worry about it. your it's, stomach is around. You gonna it's, count it's that? It's your thing. body. That's the problem. Her body's fine. I'll right. be like, mm-hmm, see that right now, like, bro. I'll be buying sodas and she be pouring them out. I so had this, pineapple soda. It is a while ago. Right. The, the pineapple soda thing. The Sprite was it last week. Uh, but I bought a pineapple soda <laughs> gas station. I had a sip. Uh, and then, you know, sat down, went back in there. I get back in the car. Melissa's like. And she waited for you to sit? And poured it out. This is what I will tell you. In my we fight. Black in, women. In my In my fight in, in weight loss, one thing that. Remember when I was stuck for super long and like yes. the same weight and I couldn't move? Mm-hmm. I, it didn't change so I stopped drinking soda. It's just sugar. Even diet sodas are bad. That's why I should be drinking water. Speaking of bad. Oh, my God. Let's talk about this because this changed my life. Tell them what you, Tell them the blasphemy. A man that had the nerve to call himself a doctor told you. I went to an iridologist. First of all, what's that? On Tony's Tony's suggestion. It's a person. It's an, it's an alternative medicine. Uh, what they do is scan your eyes. And this is me scanning my eyes. And they can basically that's, tell. That's the, you scanning your eyes. That's what you came with. Ging, 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 ging. Dork. <laughs> okay. And after they finish doing this, mm-hmm. they tell you what's wrong with you, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I know Kiara's getting glasses. Really? Yes. She had a got her eyes tested. Yeah, got her eyes. Well, we got some brand deals coming up for contact, so she's using them. We need it. Cool. So, um, so he's like, man, you got. Your your lungs have like thirty percent mucus. Your, your, How can your, he tell? Your, uh, oh, because he's scanning the eyes. He's scanning through the, the lines of your eye. I don't know if y'all have heard about this. I had never heard of this, but Tony told me. So, and the reason I believe him because Tony who told him that told me that the doctor looked at his eyes and was like, "Bro, your sodium is out of this world." Like, you're like, "What do you eat?" And Tony was like, "I eat um, <laughs> popcorn." A whole bunch of popcorn. He was thinking he was being of... smart eating popcorn because it wasn't like, me. Movie popcorn though. Yeah. A whole bunch of processed uh, processed foods, a whole bunch of packaged foods, and then he was adding salt to his like on top of all that. And the doctor was like, "Bro, like you gotta chill with that." Really? Like, for Tony, and that's crazy because Tony's not even big. No, and see, let me say something. I wish this was, this part was public. We can make it public. There's so show. much anti-fatness in America. We equate uh, weight with health. Yeah. Right. People assume there's so much like articles and stuff about how doctors treat fat people. Like I was reading one the other day. It's just like, well, the answer is diet and exercise. And people are like, well, what kind of diet? Mm. How much exercise? Like, and the doctor was like, mm, no, fat. Move, body. fatty. <laughs> <laughs> just diet and exercise. <laughs> so just because you're thin does not mean you eat well. Mm-hmm. Just because you're vegan, because he was saying like even vegans like. Uh, he said a lot of vegans end up getting diabetes because they don't eat meat, but they go crazy on the carbs. Mm-hmm. And your body, in order to process all that carbs, avocado toast, <laughs> <laughs> it's killing, it's killing folk. <laughs> uh, process a whole bunch of carbs, and it processes as, as sugar. Right. And um, even uh, whey and tofu, like those aren't necessarily good for your body. So yeah, whey and um, soy is bad for if you want to have kids. Really? Yeah, I don't mess with it. I want to have kids. Finish what you were saying. <laughs> I don't mess with it. I want to have kids. So basically, for me, he told me that I need, and this what he told me that broke my heart. This broke my heart when you told me the worst meat you can eat, according to him, <laughs> is chicken. Why, Kevin? Why? He said chicken. So that mean eggs too? No. What? I don't know. So chickens as good as babies, but not as as adults. It ain't a full chicken yet. <laughs> He said chickens are, and I've heard this on like what the health and this and that, but I don't know how I feel about it. Chickens are the number one cause of cancer in America. That's what he said. Then he said, uh, after chicken, cheese is the next worst thing because it's just mucus. Cheese? Yeah. He <laughs> said cheese? Are you for real? I didn't even, I, must have, I, I checked that after chicken. <laughs> You know cheese? how much chicken and cheese I eat? Chicken and enchiladas? That, 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 uh, I don't want to do this anymore. That Frank's uh, Red Hot Sauce, I'll tell you oh. about chicken and cheese. Yeah, see, Lugo, a Lugo said that they pump chickens with all kinds of cheese. Chicken, cheese, oh, shellfish, 
sushi. What am I supposed to eat? I'm gonna tell you. Nigga. Shelf <laughs> sushi. Uh, <laughs> he said tofu is bad for you and coffee. Oh, coffee, coffee. I don't know. I don't drink coffee either. But he said coffee is terrible. Remember though, so when we have these rough days, not not today, but we, like we was you traveling back and we drink the coffee and I'd be jittery. He said coffee will send your brain into like a frenzy sometime. Are energy drinks bad too? Or do you need to Energy <sighs> drinks gotta put that on the can. Like, <laughs> this might like, kill you, but it might wake you up too. <laughs> energy drinks be like It might wake you up and put you sleep. Read energy drinks? <laughs> They'd be like, do not, bro. It'd be like, do not drink that much of this. Chicken. So here's what he said though. Cheese. Cause I was like, what about my? I said, what about? I'm me? currently on keto. <laughs> I just are, ate cheese. Are you keep for saying nothing. it's chicken and cheese, right? Okay. So Janelle said red meat is carcinogenic as well. So here's what he said, right? Because he said, I'm like, what you tell me? What you what talking? I gotta be vegan. <laughs> and he said, no. He said he doesn't advocate for people to be vegan because one, being a bad vegan is not necessarily healthier than not eating meat. You so then see. why is meat getting the bad rap? I feel like this so is the... Here's, let me tell you what it says. So he said, if okay. you're going to eat meat... Okay. He said, also, another part of it is... And I feel like whether the chicken causes cancer or not, this, this part of what he said is true. He said, if you eat a little, you have a little bit of problem. If you eat a lot, you have a lot of problems. Well, then a lot of us are in a lot of oh, trouble. Oh, so here's the funny part about me. Right? I knew I was going to see this doctor from last week. So this week, I'm talking about leafy greens and mm. water, right? So he checks your eyes, and he's like, oh, I was like, man, how I'm doing? Because I'm like, you know, man, right. I had a great week. He was like, oh, your diet's terrible. You're this and that. Just by like, looking at your eyes. Yes, man. He said, I want to go to this dude. I want to see what he tells me. Okay. 90 days. This is basically like 90 days ago. That snapshot is what you put in your body for the last 90 days. Right, mm -hmm. so ninety days from now, I'll then you see. can go back and reassess. Yeah, so he was wow. like, so "Oh, so that's why Tony's been like gallon of water a day." That's why, because so it helps process oh. sodium, it helps detoxify the body. I mean, everybody said, but by the way, that's why I go to the bathroom first. Drinking a gallon of water a day is inconvenient. Last night, last night it was nine fifty one. I was getting ready for bed, and I was just sitting there trying to finish my thing. Like, it's the worst, uh, man. Uh, and then I woke up like four times to pee at night, and I don't at night. I don't have time for So this. what he said is, and this is actually probably, he didn't say drink a gallon, he said drink as much as you can, but he's like, keep a bottle of water by your bed, which a lot of us do. Mm -hmm. Wake up and just, just get in the habit of sipping it. Mm -hmm. And he said, by, if you just get in the habit, wake up and sip it, you just sip it throughout the day, you'll almost be in a habit of drinking water mm -hmm. like that. And that's one thing I've been working on. And he was like, take, um, take, uh, it's also what you eat together. So he was like, if you're going to eat meat, he was like, eat meat and vegetables. Or eat carbs and vegetables. Don't eat meat and carbs. Oh, so don't right? eat like pizza? Pizza's probably hell. And pasta's bad too. Okay. He said white rice bad. I, Somebody I told me know. chewing gum is bad for your diet. Because it makes your body, because when you chew, the saliva alerts your stomach that food is coming. I that too. It preps, it so doesn't come. Thing, man. We can't chew gum, no, we can't eat shrimp. You, I'm gonna tell you, this is what you really honestly gotta do because. Okay. Everybody will say everything's bad. Right. Right? It's more about doing things in moderation. So that's why he said That's about, probably like my worst thing. <laughs> it's moderation. So I'm like, I'm saying, he was like, you can, you know, he was like eating. He was talking about eating some rise and, shi rise and shine hot cereal that's basically, he said oatmeal's terrible for you. No, I just started with the oatmeal and the peanut butter. I was texting you guys. I know. Oatmeal is bad. He said rise and shine cereal, which is like hot quinoa or something it takes like 10 minutes to make i'm like ain't nobody I but he said oatmeal? daily uh smoothies are good oh. i can put you on daily harvest which is like a smoothie preparation but uh, what's wrong with oatmeal i don't know man what he said he said wheat bread is bad he said wheat bread ain't no better than white bread you're better with multi-grain or rye i was like rye is trash we'll just eat the grass and easter baskets that's what i said man just give me <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said the grass and eat some grass. You said the grass and eat some <laughs> That's all I can eat, man. Is that safe? Yeah. So here's the thing. Now, for y'all listening, I'm not telling you not to go eat none of this stuff, man. Right. But what I know for myself is I don't I be eating trash. I be eating trash too. I can eat less meat. More leafy greens. Le he didn't. And also, the, he didn't. Well, he didn't say nothing about eating uh, late at night. But so the intermittent fasting thing is a myth. 
No, I don't know if it's a myth because I think some of that stuff works. But here's a perfect example. I'll tell you why this works, right? So Tony started intermittent fasting. Tony Baker, not Tony Baker. Tony. <laughs> and he was like, it helps him sleep. And I was like, how? Like, and he was basically like, for me, Tony would not sleep. Mm -hmm. He'll stay up late. And he said part of the reason is because he would eat in the bed. Oh, and then wow. he wouldn't be tired. Right. So for him, eating intermittent fasting was helpful because he would go to sleep because he was hungry. And he's like, I ain't finna deal. I ain't finna just be hungry and awake. Right. So he would sleep and he'd sleep better. Mm. So, you, of course, if you eat less food, you're going to be doing better. So I lost eight pounds already. Hey! What, has, what has helped me is I track literally everything I eat, right? Mm -hmm. On this Fitbit, you actually put me onto this. Yes. The food part, though. Yes. You been doing the most that. I have it. Well, yeah. Not today, but. Most of the time I have it. So here's the thing about it that, that's helped me is like when you have to record everything you eat and how many calories, you don't just be snacking. Right. You don't waste it. You don't oh, waste man, real estate. I, you don't waste it because mm -hmm. you got to put it in and you got to work out. And I'm like, I've been trying to stay under 2,500 mm -hmm. calories. Um, and if I work out, maybe 2,000 less carbs and stuff. Right. But I'd be like, man, at home, I don't realize like how many times, even just this week, like Melissa made this big old pan of cornbread. Oh, I'm talking about cash. See, that stuff be hard too, though. Uh, how do you just, how are you going to not say no to hot cornbread? I didn't say no. And then when you put the butter on it, then it just moves. She handed me, the, you know how butter move on cornbread. be like, oh, I'm sliding. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sliding. rolling. It just looks so good. It do. So she handed me this hot cornbread with a butter on it, right? I ate it. I, it was like, it was the day we went to the axe thing. Mm -hmm. So, so then when I come home from the axe thing, I'm looking at the cornbread like, Hey, big head. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> you better get into. So, and I know, like, had I not been counting, like, I'm not saying counting calories. Mm -hmm. I'm not counting everything I eat, but I'm recording my calories. Okay. And I don't want to just, because I want to just grab that, grab some this. That's where you lose track. Order a boba tea. Mm -hmm. Me and my family, they be ordering boba tea left and right. That ain't nothing but liquid sugar. You know what I'm saying? So, stopping that and then just eating better when you are hungry Absolutely. is very helpful. That's why, and you know diet is 80% of it, which seems ridiculous because I'm going hard in the gym. And just to know that's... 10%, 15%, rest it's, is the other five diets. Because it's all because we're visual creatures. Like, we just think we see ourselves jumping, running, sweating. Oh, this must be. This has to be doing this something. Has to be, you but know, you know, when you look at calories, how much you can, uh, how much damage you. First of all, the amount of energy expanded to burn a calorie is ridiculous. Versus the amount of energy not expanded to eat a calorie. Bro. You can out eat your workout when you get home. Bro. You eat bacon and eggs in a smoothie. You burn a thousand calories. You could drink that on a smoothie on the way home. Oh, and, and that, that's another thing. Back when I was drinking too, there's so much oh, calories and alcohol. Man, that mm. junk. Hennessy is, which was your drink of choice, heavy on the sugar. And, and um, beer ain't nothing but liquid bread. Literally. That's all it is. That's why you get beer belly. Absolutely. That, and I, I just don't know how to navigate through this. Here's though. the it's, thing. It's difficult. Like, the, I know the Noom app is... Like we re say it as a read, but mm -hmm. I think it's actually true. Right. There's nothing good, nothing bad, mm -hmm. right? It's all in moderation. Right. If that man thinks I'm never gonna eat chicken again, mm -hmm. he's wrong. But for him, this is he's wrong. But this I, is the thing that he told you that he's you didn't. Wrong. <laughs> I thought as he said that I was I looked at lemon pepper and it was in a cloud <laughs> in my mind. I was like <laughs> It's still good. <laughs> So you saw, but see, this is the thing you forgot to tell them. What? Tell them what the best meat to eat is. A turkey, turkey, salmon, and then he said bison, and I literally said this in the office. I was like, people don't really be having bison. You don't see that on sale at <laughs> Ravies. <laughs> and we get a pound and a half of the bison. Bison don't be out here. Have like, you ever had bison? Mm, no. It's a lean, lean meat, but it ain't prevalent. So I'm like, bro, what's realistic? Because I'm not finna just be like, man, bison me up. Right. You know what I mean? That just sounds expensive. But me. I like salmon. Salmon I could do all day. I like turkey. And I be knowing Chicken some things be wrong. Because even when you, when you was asking me, you was like, are you doing keto? I was like, no. Because even when I was reading the things about getting into it, I was like, my common sense thing was just going off. Like, this can't be right. Keto? Yeah, because people get so into it. Like, people be putting butter in their coffee. That... No, literally. I know. <laughs> to get the fats out of it to lose weight. I'll be like, I'll be with someone to eat some over there. Like, you idiot, what are you doing eating now? I'm like, what'd you eat? A half a dozen eggs and a pack of bacon. And that's somehow better than this. Like, it's dumb. Well, I think everything has its bad. Like, the sodium in half a dozen uh, eggs and plus uh, bacon. And the bacon. But the thing that he said that sucked was shrimp. He was like, shrimp is terrible for you. 
Can't say it that. has 300 or 280 milligrams of sodium before you even cook it. And he was like, and he's a black doctor. He's like, you know how we do. We we whip it up. He said, nigga, in the meeting. <laughs> he said, nigga. Yes. That's the nigga. The, the, the doctor said to me when I uh, when I, I signed up for weight loss surgery. Was that nigga? No, he was just like, he, he came in there. He was looking at the test. He was just like, nigga, you're going to die. I'm just like, the black doctor? That black doctor said that. But he said, nigga, he was I felt more comfortable. Was, I, was like, I was like, what? I like, it, But it, it spoke to my soul. Shout out to him. Yeah. I lost so soul. shrimp is a bottom feeder, so it's a parasite. Same like pork. He was like, you're about to be having worms and stuff. Like, And I was like, Shh, wait, wow. please don't say crab, too. He didn't say crab. He didn't say nothing cool. about crab. <laughs> crab, cool. <laughs> but here's the thing. I wouldn't say stop eating any of that. I'm just going to try and eat less. Less of it. Less meat overall, probably safer. But he said steak, probably better than chicken. I, 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 this is a crap shit. Okay, let's just move on to it. How much time we got? How long have we been live? Oh, we've been on live for an hour. Just about an hour. We had other things we didn't even get to talk about. We had... Lil Boosie getting into it with Kappa Kappa Alpha Psi. Kappa Alpha Psi. I uh, talked about that on my um. Show. We got OT Genesis remaking another. Play, play OT Genesis. It's not good. I, play this, OT Genesis. Let me tell you what happened with OT Genesis. This is what happened. OT Genesis is that little two year old toddler at the family <laughs> picnic that does something cute and everybody's like, oh man, that's hilarious. And 20 minutes later, the same kid is still doing it, like trying to get like, okay, move. Like that, like you, you, you cannot have lightning strike. I'm finding the thing the video. in the bottle twice. It's not good. Wait, can you find it on YouTube? I got it. Right. I don't want to, but I'll do it. Oh, it's in your docket. Had you taken a look at that? No, the the full video? Yeah. See, you go here. Oh, that's that's a minute vision. Oh, you want to hear the whole thing? You want to hear the hook and the bridge? No, this is okay. enough. probably enough. Oh. Making my way downtown, hundred rounds, got the four five and the train pound. But you can't not laugh though. At a party today with my K, making my way through the crowd. Ah, that is gross. When I meet you, I won't miss you. I'll put you under. <laughs> I like walkers. I love drive-bys. Cause you know I'll hit you with my nine. Your mama won't see you tonight. Look, this good good luck on trying oh the whole thing was only a minute. That's it? Yeah. Uh oh. Good luck on trying to get him to stop that now. Like he didn't found a lane. I heard that he was performing that show like live, the Keisha Cole one. They said Keisha Cole got it. She got. They said she got it removed from um from YouTube. Really? Yeah, it's not there no more. But I love it. Well, you ain't gonna be watching it on YouTube. Here's my thing. It's hilarious, man. Hey, how'd you get your name right here? Hmm? How'd you get your name like that? I'm just gangster like that. You winkster like Shut that. Shut up. So um. I just did. I, I thought it was just. I, I just, thought it was funny, man. What y'all talking about yeah. in here, man? We gonna finish out looking at y'all. I had a good one. Gotta go for New Year's resolutions. What is it? Get oh, I saw shape, that. Get in shape, spend more time with family, save money, or learn a new skill. Stop. One gotta go. One gotta go. Don't do it now, man. Just save it for another one. Okay. <laughs> Samina said my ears hurt now. <laughs> hey, Celeste from Australia. He said tofu is bad for you. He said whey is terrible. I asked him, should I add protein to my shakes? He said whey is terrible. He said whey is the excess of when they make cheese. It's not even good enough to stay on cheese. So he said cheese was the number two most terrible thing you could eat. You know, cheese is like mucus, though, from milk. Like, it's just like old milk, mildewed milk. I would have never thought it would be delicious like that. What is so? What is the so? What is this so-called doctor eat air? And that's why I'm saying like take this with a grain of salt. Right. No, apparently you're not supposed to have a grain of salt. It's too much sodium. Apparently, it's the problem. Too much grains of salt. This is like watching. This is like the initial recoil when you watch What the Hell for Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. They're gonna be all up in arms for two weeks, and then you'll get back to the burgers. <laughs> We know what's good. You're going back to Popeye's to get cheese on that chicken sandwich, and who cares? But look, I, I feel good about it, man. I feel good. 
Yo. You know what I've been doing? You know I found out a strategy and I'm going to share it with you. Share it with me, Kevin. So last week, my steps on Fitbit, because I was just getting back into it. Like, I didn't, I wasn't letting on how trash December was, but it was trash. So I got back on and I was like, all right, I didn't really do anything for a month. So I was like, well, let me just try to just make 10,000 steps the goal for the first week of the year. So that's what I did. Kind of kept it simple and it was cool. Like, all right, I got it. But then this week, I was like, all right, I want to bump it up to 15. You know me, I'm just extreme. Like, bump it up to 15. You know the easiest way to do it? If you do an hour in the morning, you'll automatically get 8,000 steps mm -hmm. by that time that workout's done. Yes. And all I do now is that, and I've been ending up with like 15, 17, 19. Yeah. Because you need that strong base in the morning. So do you, do, do you still do cardio in the morning? I kind of have it in my workouts with Greg now. <laughs> so if you do that, and cause I, I mean, I'll, I'll commit to it for the whole hour, but like I get the bulk of my steps in yeah. the morning, and then I don't have to worry about them at the end of the day. You look very uninterested in that whole yeah. I'm never telling you anything. I did. I did. I'll punch you in the face. You've that, told me that before. I <laughs> have? Uh -huh. Yeah, you already, you already said you do your cardio in the morning, you do your walking. Imagine if you want to say stuff. Who are you talking? Right. All right, guys. Uh, I'm tired. I am, too. It's been a very I'm hungry long week. My wrist are... Is the taco guy around? Nah, oh, come on, man. You know he don't get outside till it's dark. It's still light outside. Man. Remember last time we went around Falcon? I wasn't even there. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, we will be back on... When are we shooting this week? Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday between 11 and 12, 30-ish. We actually been doing... Uh, what we're probably going to try and do is the Wi-Fi is good. Do Dear Kevin on Stage Live, Into Love Hour Live, Into Ratchet and Ratchet Live, and y'all just... That's me. How do you be doing that? Doing what? Back to back to back shoots where you have to be funny. That's hard. And I'm somebody that considers my hour. huh. I, I kind of take it easy. That heard. Yeah, Melissa does most of it. I'd be like butthole, <laughs> <laughs> butt <-hole."> <laughs> <laughs> I try to say a funny thing or two, but it's uh, it's mostly her. And we got a guest this week. Like I'm. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just yeah. said you just man. Yeah. Let me tell you, you don't be liking the reading comments, but the comments from your episode of Dear Kev. Oh my God! Oh, they, they, oh, that was a hit. They were like, "Damn, don't you ever do it by yourself?" Hey man, baby, back, man, baby, no, back, man. Like, I love. The, but here's the thing: people got to get you in doses. Yeah. Because if they have every I'm episode on, well, it's. I think it works. Same thing with Yvonne. Like it works because it's it's a it's different a special treat. It's a it's a it's a switch up. If you do it every time, yeah, it's like, gonna oh. be every now and every now and maybe like a Valentine's Day. Stuff like that. But for the man, you have me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so we're good. We love y'all. We, we do. See y'all. Thank you guys Tuesday. very, very much, and we will see you. Bye. And um, Bye. yes, Bye. I, I seen I seen all the comments Bye. asking. Bye. I didn't want to address it at the time. Everybody's been asking me to post some videos of the puppies on the Patreon page. Yes, I will. I put them there so you guys can Bye. see them. Say that? No, but I want to post the puppies, and I'm just gonna do it so you guys can see like, King and Maya. I didn't see that coming at all. Ah! All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? No one. No one said it. Let me do it. Man.